Hi, this is Caitlin Liu, and I'll be walking you through why I walk six grade worksheets for lesson 31. Okay, so this first worksheet, we're looking at um, equations, and they're asking us to solve for the variable and to check our answers while also showing our work. So, solving for the variable means we want to isolate the variable, or the letter, or the, the one that we don't know. And in this case, the first question, it would be x. And in order to isolate it, or to make it so it stays on one side of the equation while everything else is on the other side, we want to do inverse operations. So in this case, x is being multiplied by 4. It's not alone, and we want to get it alone. So it's being multiplied, and the opposite, or the inverse of multiplication, is division. And so what you want to do is divide by 4, and also, you also have to know that you have to um, apply the same operation on both sides of the equation. So in this case, we would also have to divide the 12 by 4. Okay, so 4x divided by 4 is just equal to 1, right? And then 1 times x is equal to x. So we have x, bring the equal sign over, 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3, and your answer is x equals 3. Okay, number two says p, I'm going to rewrite it, p over 7 is equal to 3. So p is being divided by 7 in this case, and we want to do the inverse of that, which is multiply it by 7, which cancels this out to be equal 1. 1 times p is equal to p equals, well, I forgot to multiply this part by 7 as well. 7 times 3 is equal to 21. Okay, this one is about the same. Um, this one is division like the first one, so is this one. 1n is just equal to n equals 3, and that gives you your answer. And these are all pretty much the same rules. So this one is asking us to solve for the following inequalities and to graph the answer on the number line. So solving for the inequalities is very similar, but it means different things. So we also want to isolate uh, the variable, which in this case is a. And so we, if we act like this um, inequality sign is an equal sign, we can know that this is how we do it. But then instead of writing equal sign, you write the inequality sign. 20 minus 70 is equal to 13. So what it means by graphing your answer on a number line, it means, okay, well, numbers go on and on and on, right? And we can choose a point right here. This equals 13, and it's telling us that a is greater than 13, right? So we want to keep an open dot and pointing this way. And this is a. a is greater than 13, but it does not equal 13, so you do not fill in the dot. Same here. Divide by 4 on both sides. b is equal to 15. And we can, or no, b is not equal to 15, my bad b is less than 15. Do 15 here, b with an open dot pointing this way. Um, this one, you do minus 3, so z would be greater than 12. And so forth. Okay, so we're on to the word problems. Um, it is telling us to write an inequality for the word sentence, which is pretty straightforward and easy, but you have to notice um, the greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to signs. So, the value of x is greater than or equal to 7. The weight w is at least 7,000, so at least means that it could be 7,000, but it also is lower than it. Oh, it also is greater than it. So at the very least it's 7,000. So it'd be greater than or equal to 7,000. Okay, the height h minus 12 is 27 or less. So it is, which means it can also be equal to 7, 27, but it can also be less than, less than or equal to 27. The value m is less than 14. That one's pretty easy. And 19 plus b is less than 32. 
Okay, and for the last page, we have using formulas. So this one says a equals b times c, and we have to follow this. So a equals b times c. We want to divide 55 from both sides, all right? And this one, I'm just going to show you how to do it, and you can do the problem on your own. A is equal to B times C, and so you would um, divide both sides by 0 0.7. And this one, A is equal to 17 times 36, and you just multiply these together to get the answer. Um, 4 is the same as number 1, 5 is the same as number 2, and 6 is the same as number 3, or the same operations. And that will be all for this week.